hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rebecca in this video I'm going to show you how to solve Cambridge IGCSE ICT exam paper 3 this is May June 2022 variant 31 okay so for this question paper we are going to look at data analysis which is the spreadsheet and for this um, paper I've solved the website authoring task so if you need the video you can just go through my channel and you'll find the video Okay, so let's go to the spreadsheet task. Okay, you are going to create a spreadsheet to display data about safety equipment required for a hot hair balloon. Okay, so open and examine the file J31 table. Open and examine the file J31 table. Tables, okay, so this is the file. And then open and examine the file J31 balloon. Okay, the file J31 balloon. Okay. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name balloon underscore, followed by your center number, candidate number, and um, yeah, like this. Okay, so save the file balloon. Followed by your center number and candidate number. Okay, change the file format to Excel and then save. Okay, place in the header left aligned your name, center number, and candidate number in the header. Okay, so you can just click on here, page layout. Okay, so this is the header left aligned. Your name, center number, and candidate number. And then right aligned, automated file name with no file path. Automated file name with no file path. Okay, so this is file name, okay, let's just check, automated file name, okay, so this is the file name, and that's it, we can go back to the normal view. Okay, enter a formula in cell B5. Okay, we need to enter a formula in cell B5. So let's look at cell B5. Where is cell B5? Okay, this is cell B5. To look up the equipment um, equipment item, okay, using the item number in cell B4. Okay, we need to enter a formula in cell B5 to look up we are trying to find the equipment item and using the item in the item number in B4. Okay, so we are going to be using this is going to be um, our lookup value. Okay, we are going to use the item number to find the equipment item in okay in this file the external file tables. Okay, so. We have item number and we have equipment item. So we only need this data. Okay, so we are going to make use of lookup, VLOOKUP. Okay, so VLOOKUP equal VLOOKUP. We are looking for this item, comma. The table array would be these two. Sorry. Okay, the table array will be these two, comma, 
So what is the column index number? So our the value we are looking for is the equipment item, and that's in column two. So comma, then false, exact match, and then close. Okay, so we have the name, the item name. So the item name is oxygen storage equipment. Okay, so enter a formula in cell B7. Okay, in cell B7 to display the date and name of the employee. Would we'll check the item of the safety equipment using the balloon name and the item number. Okay, so if we look at the the table, okay, we can see the balloon names. Okay, so here are the balloon name and here are they. Okay, the name and the date of those who checked the item. Okay, those who check the items. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use volume name and the item number. So these are the item numbers. We have them here. So it's item seven. So that means our answer should be here. Okay, our answer should be from here. Okay, so let's write the code. Sorry, write the formula. Okay, so equal VLOOKUP. So what are we looking up? We are looking up to check the balloon name, okay? The balloon name eta, comma, what's the table array? Okay, these are the table array. Comma, what is the colon index? Okay, now, in the question it says we need to use um, the item number. Okay, so the item number is in the other spreadsheet. Okay, the item number is this cell. We're going to click on it and then comma, then false and then close. Okay, so we have 3rd January 22 by Samo. Let's see, is this correct? 3rd of January. Um, this is, okay, this should be. Okay, so this is showing for column six. This is showing for column six, and this is the reason why. Remember when we clicked, we clicked column B, um, B4 as our column index number, and B4 has the value seven. So the value seven is gonna start counting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to stop at six. Okay, but we wanted to look for the data in column seven. So this is what we are going to do. Okay, so we are going to add an increment to the formula. Okay, so we're going to add an increment to B4. So we have plus one. Uh, now we have the correct answer. Okay, so that's how to solve that. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Okay, and make sure that it is in landscape orientation. Row and column headings are displayed and content of all cells are fully visible. So for us to show the formula, you need to click on formula, okay? Show formula, and then go to file, print, go to page setup. Okay, so it should be um, the page it should be landscape, if I'm not mistaken. Landscape, row and column headings are fully visible. Okay, row and column headings are fully visible. Okay, this is it. Okay, enter into cell B3, the text better. In cell B3, the text better. So I'm going to just go back to... Okay, in cell B3, the 
better. And then in cell B4, number two. B4, number two. Save your spreadsheet. Print the entire spreadsheet showing the values. Okay, let's see. There should actually be a change in the result. So I'm going to go back to now. Okay. So based on the data that we've changed, this result has been changed. So we need to print save. Okay, just save and print the spreadsheet. Go to page setup and ensure that it meets the printing requirement. So page print out fit on a single page. Okay. Print out fits on a single page, of course. Content of all cells are fully visible. Row and column headings are not displayed. Okay, row and column headings are not displayed. Okay, that's it. And we are done with this um, paper. Okay, this spreadsheet is very short. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.